We're getting a live look at John Deere's tractor in Austin, Texas, right now, tilling the field. There's the cameras, this is the controls, and this is the job it's doing. And you know what? I'm going to take it over remotely over in Las Vegas with a cell phone. Over at John Deere's booth at CES, I can see in real time how a 50,000 pound machine can be controlled from anywhere, even 1,300 miles away. The work plan and the route, it's already set up, but at any point, I could just come into this app. I guess we could just pause the machine. There you go. <laughs> and if I want to resume it, I can. I can also get a real time feed of how things are going or change other factors. We can change the infield speed of the job and the turn speed of the job. So I feel a more speed on this guy. When a farm might be busy with another job or maybe labor is in short supply, this frees up the farmer with their time to do other things. John Deere is putting machine learning smarts into all aspects of crop production. This is a piece of a planter machine. And here we're seeing that new technology is being added, a camera called ProVision, making sure that the trench that's being dug up is as it should be. If anything's going wrong, the farmer will find out. A carbon fiber boom that is designed to spray chemicals, like pesticide, for example, has cameras that can quickly identify weeds and just spray weed killer where it is needed. And that cuts down on 60 to 70% of chemicals used. This is an example of a machine that would harvest cotton and it can put it all into a giant bale. I just want to run into the bale of cotton. <laughs> Data is being collected at every step to help a farmer see what they can adjust next season to improve their crop yield. And data also helps track exactly where a crop winds up. In this case, a retailer could say their shirts use cotton that came from a farm that uses sustainable farming practices, essentially tracking your crop at all stages, from dirt to shirt. You know, with all this cool tech out here, I think next year we're gonna have to learn how to drive one of these things to go more hands-on. <laughs> Let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.